The final new addition to the effects is the analog mode inside of the distortion. If you've ever used the distortion previously inside a machine, the default mode was something called Mulholland, which was definitely distortion. However, it was kind of a weird distortion. And I say weird because it had a modulation loop that has a feedback parameter. So check this out. You hear when I let go? By default, if you just set it, the feedback is set to 25%. So check this out. This is a bipolar knob. The feedback can go in different directions. And then this is the tone and the modulation of that tone. So check this out. Now, watch what happens when I actually increase the feedback. And it's gonna vary once you change the tone mod. See? <laughs> so kind of a weird effect. And if you didn't know what you're doing with it, you'd be like, I will never use that distortion ever because it's not what you think of when you normally hit distortion. So they've introduced a new analog mode, which is what you would expect, kind of overdrive, kind of distortion. And this is based off of the Screamer effect inside of Guitar Rig. And the Screamer was based off the old classic Tube Screamer, which was a wonderful little green pedal that you could put in front of your amp and really just drive the overdrive quite a bit more. And so it's kind of a nice way to provide more saturation. Obviously you have the different effects. You have distortion, you also have saturator, and these are all just going to give you a different flavor of saturation. And it's important to have all these different flavors because each one is going to vary on its effectiveness inside of your mix. So I'm just really liking the fact that they added another one. It just gives you more bang for your buck. Let me turn the output down. You'll see what the difference is here. And I'm just simply using this on a version of Monarch that's not doing much of anything other than a little square and sawtooth waveforms. So quite easy to work with. There's two knobs here, focus and definition. So definition determines how pronounced this distortion effect is from a range of zero to 100%. And then focus actually switches the frequency range of the process signal, which is meant to pull it slightly further forwards in the mix. So this is more pronounced at lower definition volumes or percentage. subtle, but it might make a little difference. So I would suggest really kind of just keeping it lower and turning this on and off depending on where your settings are and what your input source is actually doing. But for me, you know, it's making a nice little difference in this mix. If I can get it back where I had it. So, you know, it's going to just add some harmonics. It's going to just make it pop out a little bit more, especially on smaller speakers. But it sounds nicer in the context now. Really, you can never have too many flavors of distortion, so try this out on whatever material you have.